Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of I am Penge and it is time for some more Prison Architect where we are working our way through the campaign levels. So last time out we did the second part of campaign level number three, which is called Gabos. I'm still not entirely sure what that stood for. What did that stand for? Did that stand for something in the level? I completely missed whatever that is. But yeah, in this case, we did second part of Gabos. And now we are going to proceed to campaign, story mode, whatever it is, number four, Conviction. One of our inmates has been put on suicide watch. Henry Morgan, Benedict's partner in crime. 13 months into a five-year sentence. Help us take care of these men. He doesn't look like he's being taken care of very well. He looks in a bad way. He looks in a very bad way. I mean, his eyes have been smacked about. He looks a little bit like a skeleton, but okay, let's begin. Let's get on with it, shall we? Let's play. So, conviction. There he is. He's not got his top on. Put your top on. Oh, but you've got some drinks, so that's probably a good thing. He looks a little bit sad. Okay, Dr. Walter Hurst. Hello, Dr. Walter Hurst, with your spindly hands. The lack of engagement at this facility is shocking. Men deprived of every shred of humanity. They're being shown scant compassion or respect. The chief, he's got a truncheon, he's important. It's not what these men deserve. Oh, they're going to have a little chat, are they? Indeed, Captain. This is no way to treat a human being. They're deprived of every shred of humanity. You've just said shred of humanity to me. And now you're saying it to him. Why should they abide by our rules? You can't expect them to respond in any way, but with the utmost resentment. We need classrooms, drug, drug rehabilitation programs, and a person who's reading this out that can say the word rehabilitation. A workshop so they can start to take some pride in their skills. The chief says, you misunderstand me, doctor. These men aren't human. See for yourself. Okay. He, he looks human. He looks as human as these other people. He's got hair and a face of sorts. On your feet, Morgan. In he goes. Yeah, he, yeah, he's not in a good way, is he? You've got a visitor. Hello, Morgan. How are you? Uh, rehabilitation. Might as well teach monkeys to play the banjo. That would be worth seeing. Can we have that? Can we put that into the game? That would be splendid. That would get the morale up, wouldn't it? Okay, go and have a chat with him then. Go on, have a little chat with this lunatic. Yeah, he looks sad. He's got cobwebs on him. Is he Spider-Man? What's your name, son? Zoomy zoom. Mild zoom in there. He's forgotten, maybe. Man, ask you a question. Yep, he did. Henry, sir. Oh, dear, yes, Henry has indeed seen better days. Oh, dearie me. Sorry, Henry. Okay, not a lot going on. Must be cold down there, Henry. Put this on. Ah, he's giving him his top. Lice in the bed, sir. Eating me alive. Shirt keeps out the rats. Biggest ones I ever seen. Rats? Yeah, we need to sort that out. Come on. Oh, well, there's, a, there's rats in the walls. Seriously, sort this prison out. How are you sleeping? Don't sleep. Only thing I do in here is think. Lots of time for thinking. What do you think about? Dying, mostly. I'm a little girl. She'll need you to be strong, Henry. This will be hard for her, too. Being behind bars every day of her life. She don't even know I exist. Oh, dear. Well, that's put you right, Dr. Man. It's never too late to change your life, Henry. Oh, what's going to happen to the Doctor Man? What's going to happen to the Doctor Man? Because he said he was dangerous. I'd like to come see you again, if I may. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, well, yeah, he seems an absolute terrible person, doesn't he? Call me Walter. He doesn't seem like a lunatic at all. He just seems like a person that you chucked in there. He's not got a bed. Oh, yeah, I didn't put beds in my last one, though, did I? Can we do something about those rats? This isn't the third world. I'll get some rat poison in there. Can I just block the walls up? Or maybe tidy up? It looks horrendous. It looks like a right mess. Okay, so we've got to sort that out, have we? That's going to be our thing. Hello, Doc. Following the recent tragedy at Alchemico State Prison. <clears throat> I don't know who was involved with that. We are under immense political scrutiny. Until a permanent replacement is found for the CEO position, I'd like you to take the reins. There have been a spate of suicides at this facility recently, and it's not hard to see why, but we have a more immediate problem. Oh, is it the power? There's some power just there that's gone out. The powers oh, the powers at B have decided to send us a huge batch of new inmates. The first will be arriving tomorrow, and we don't have anywhere to house them. What about here? This looks good. We need you to build a brand new cell block with enough space to handle the new intake. Uh, okay. How many people are we talking? Oh my goodness. That's massive. I've laid out a potential design for the new cell block here. This should give us enough new cells to handle the intake, and the design includes its own shower facility. Well, ain't that a doozy. Okay, but it's up to you if you choose to follow the design or do something totally different. Well, that looks pretty good to me. My job is to prioritise the welfare of these men. Get that new cell block built, then we'll talk about how to achieve that. Okay, pause. Uh, okay, so he's going to like a little sort of 
a little sort of uh, plan type thing, like a sort of see-through plan. Oh, there's some trees. Ooh, like a palm tree. Are we somewhere all exotic and lovely? Okay, so let's take a quick look. So where are we? Oh, right, so there's a massive kind of fenced off area. Okay, so there's a little prison bit here, which is already existing. There's a yard and an, a little office area. That's a very big office. That is a very, very big office. What are they? Chairs. They little chair things. Oh, is that where they go and talk to people? Oh, look at that. That's where they go in and talk to people. So the prisoners come in this bit and sit here and they pick up a phone and chat with their whatever family, friends, loved ones on that side. Oh, that's quite cool. Oh, okay. Right. That makes sense. Um, yes, yeah, so they've got all that sorted here. A little canteen and some stuff there and some bits and bobs up here. But yes, so we're going to create a new bit over here, are we? Okay. Provide cells for 40 inmates. Well, I don't see any reason why I shouldn't follow this guy's plans. So, uh, foundations. Now, I have been being told many, many things in the comments. Uh, uh, well, and also on the Discord. So people have been providing me with information. I will probably forget most of what's been said, <laughs> to be honest, because there was quite a lot. There's quite a lot that's been thrown at me. But um, I do remember some stuff like pipes. Basically, uh, oh, turn off auto lights as well was a thing. But um, yeah, pipes. Uh, don't put water pipes under the cells and stuff, the big ones, because they can climb into the big water pipes, the big fat ones, and use them to escape which is a bit crazy. So yes, yeah, so always put them down the sort of middle and use the littler pipes to plumb things in, like with showers and what have you. But um, yeah, so make sure there's no big pipes going under the cells. Now, how do we do this? Now, somebody did say, ah, it's, this is a good this is a good thing for building whatever buildings with. And I can't remember if it was brick or concrete. I think brick is probably better for cells. Surely brick is better for cells. I would have thought so. So we just need to sort of zone that out, I think. Now, yeah, the building thing confuses me a little bit building thing actually confuses me a little bit because I kind of want to go like that and then we want to put all the walls and stuff on the inside so can we do that can we just build a big brick thing like that an entrance there what's that like a path as well we need a little path let's have uh let's have going that way what have we got around here that just looks like what are they gravel concrete is that road no it's not road stone maybe it's stone i'm not entirely sure what that kind of thing is a paving stone that's probably what it is let's get some paving stone stuff in as well why not zone that zone that put that to there like that and then we need a door we certainly need a door so let's get ourselves that's not where doors are going to be doors are in objects uh, a large jail door just there so now people can get in and out of this thing so they're going to build the outside and then we're going to have to put all the walls and stuff in as we go. Now, can we do that now? Can we zone out like all the other walls and doors and things? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, where is Where are walls again? I've forgotten where they are. Where are walls, materials? Ah, in here. Okay. So brick walls. Ah, so we can't do that right now. Can we put the doors in? Can we put the cell doors in? Are they things that we can do? A jail door. Yeah, it's going to be a jail door. Keep your prisoners where they should be. Okay, so we can put those in. This is a bit strange, isn't it? But okay. Let's drop all the doors in, like this guy has recommended, because he knows what he's doing and I don't. So, uh, yep, yeah, there, 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 and there. And then do we need to rotate doors round like that? Do we do we care which way round a door is? No, I don't think it makes any difference. One there, one there, one there, one there. All the way along this bottom row of things, like that. And then just here. That one's behind a tree, but okie doke. Right, like that. So at least that's some, something in place. Now, I don't know what the plan is for those. Just to be a block and then we put shower heads on each side? I don't know. But okay, fine. Come out of that. Let's move time on a bit because now they are going to want to start getting that built. So hopefully some delivery should arrive. They have an awful lot of resource over here. Look at all these things. Millions and millions of concrete floors and things. Okay, right. Hurry time on because we can't do anything else. Oh, for goodness sake. Just have somebody stood by this door opening and closing it permanently, please. Right. They've done the pavement. Have they done the path? That is a rubbish path. I was expecting it to look like that. That is a terrible path. But they're getting that done at least. So they're putting doors in. They're doing all the stuff. That's very good. Right, while they do that then. So uh, materials and brick walls. Can we put them in yet? No, we can't put them in yet because it's still counting as though they're sort of finishing this foundations bit off. Okay, when does that finish? When they put all the doors in? Looks like most of the doors are in. There's a couple down here. There's one door. One little door just there that needs to be done. One death today? What? Um, okay. Hang on. <laughs> Please hold the line. 
Not done yet. Right, okay, right. It's finishing, it's finishing. And ba-ba. Right, now I can build the walls in here. What is this? Oh, is this this planning thing? Is that the planning tool thing they've done? Walls, objects, and pathways. Ah, that's the planning tool they've put in. Okay, right. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense, I suppose. Right, brick walls then. Now, again, people are probably screaming at me now, going, don't put brick walls with the cells, you fool. Concrete for the cells. Um, but I think brick is probably harder to get through than, than concrete, is it? I imagine brick's hard to get through. So let's zone all these bits out. Like so. This might take a long while. Right, hang on. Let me do all this. We'll come back when I've zoned out all the different walls and bits and bobs that need to be done. Right, that has zoned everything out in terms of walls. So the doors are all in bar, a couple of doors over here. They're now going to be walls with shower heads on either side. So we're going to need some sort of utility type thing. Ah, okay. So there's water going straight in. That's quite useful. That's handy. So let's get ourselves some small water pipes. Now again, look, that big pipe is going straight through the middle. Is that bad? That's probably a bad thing. But yeah, so the shower heads will need water like that. So let's do that. Let's plumb them in right now, just before they even get there. Now, power-wise, there is entirely no power, is there? Oh, no, there's a little bit of power. There's a little bit of power. So we could drag that through there, like that. Let's have it going out the other side. Why not? And then can we bring that one down, like that, and drag that through to the other side? And then we should, that should then be enough for them to sort of connect all the different bits and bobs up. I think there's enough power provision on there for them to then be able to switch on the lights and stuff. So that's that sorted. Yep, so this is going to be saying we've got no water because they've not actually connected the water thing up, I don't think. Yep, they've not done this bit yet, have they? Have they done that bit yet? Where is it? Utilities. Yeah, they're complaining about no water. Yeah, because they've not actually done the pipes yet. They're still building the walls and stuff like that. Okay, then we need to zone these out. We need to zone these out actually as cells, which is absolutely fine. So we're going to need to go through and do that to each of these. And then we're going to need to put something in all those cells. We're going to need to put something in all of those cells, which is going to take quite some time. There probably is. In fact, I seem to remember reading somewhere a copy-paste facility. Quick build. Copy and paste existing parts of your prison or place predefined rooms. Ah, okay, that could be useful. That could be handy because, yeah, this might take a little while. I've got to do 40 of these rooms. So yeah, if we could copy and paste some of them, like you know, the ones that are facing north and the ones that are facing south, copy and paste those, that make, might make life a little bit easier. But okay, let's get these sort of zoned out for now. Like so, like so, and like so. Um, a shower area, that's going to be just there. Lovely showers. Okay, so we provided a shower facility. Provide cells for 40 inmates. We're not quite there yet. Okay. Oh, hang on. Hang on. There's some more little cells there that I completely forgot about. One, two, three, and four. Right. All the cells are now sort of, sort of zoned out. That's fine. What do we need in a cell? A bed and a toilet. How lovely. So, objects. A bed, like so. Let's put that across the end. And then a toilet can go where? There. Round the corner of there. So now quick build what do i do with this then how do i what do i do how do i do anything to do with this uh i don't know how quick build works copy and paste existing parts of your prison or place predefined rooms well can we do right click to cancel no i don't right click it how does the quick build work then i don't really know how it works clone basic cell Solitary cell, luxury cell, or basic cell. Oh, the basic cells come up as massive on this. Okay, fine. So we have not got that sorted. Okay, we don't want that. Um, can we just clone what? How do we tell it to do that? That? Do we drag and drop or what? Oh, I don't know how that works. The clone tool lets you select an area of your prison to copy and then place that area again. With the clone tool selected, hold the right mouse button and drag an area that you want to copy. Then left click somewhere else in the prison to queue up construction. Ah, okay. Like that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yes, we can do that across the whole range of the ones across the top here. Is that it? Like that? Oh, no, there, there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. There's no bed. So it's copied the cell and nothing else. Okay, so maybe I need to wait for them to put the bed in. Hang on, how can we up the priority? Uh, control and left click to make high priority. Yeah, okay. Do that and do that. So absolutely prioritize those. Let's get them done. Let's just speed that time on until the bed and the toilet are in place. 
which should be very soon, I'm sure. Here they go, guy carrying a bed. Someone else should be coming in carrying a toilet, hopefully. Can we see who that is? Yep, there's certainly someone. Yep, they're coming in with the toilet, and toilet goes in and beautiful. Okay, right, it's very dark. Oh, of course, there's no lights. There's no lights anywhere. I also might need to put in a light into each of these rooms. Oh, okay, that's a bit annoying as well. Control left click. Yep, prioritize the light, please. And then I can copy and paste that into all the other things. I'll copy and paste that into all the different cells. Okay, they're the top facing cells. And so now in terms of the cells that are facing the different way, we're going to need to do that slightly differently. So that's going to be there. There's going to be a light next to the pillow end and then a toilet kind of facing that way. So we'll use those as the different template bits. Right, the toilets all need to be plumbed in. We can cope with that soon. Whoa, 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 Harvey. Hang on. <laughs> Harvey, Harvey's just letting himself in. <laughs> Hello, Harvey. Have you come to book in? Yeah, okay. Could you wait a little bit? A little bit, a little bit of waiting, maybe? Okay, so I had to have a little break in play there. My doorbell rang and I had to go and answer the door. So I've come back and in the meantime, I have gone through, I've copied this cell and I've copied it through to here. So all of the cells with the south facing doors, I suppose, are now sort of templated and copied. I need to wait for this cell to then go in. So what we'll do is we'll shift and left click to make all those priority things. The toilet, the light and the bed in you know, the north facing cells can be done. And then what we'll do is we'll then copy and paste those into these cells and they should be all okay. I've also dropped in a load of lights. Now they should be fine. I think utility wise, they should be okay. I think that went into there, okay. Yeah, so we should be okay with all the lights and stuff. So that's pretty good. So we've got all that going on. That's lovely. Right, okay, well, let's hurry time on. Let's speed time on and get stuff done. And then what we need to do is, after that, we need to get all of the um, toilets plumbed in. In fact, you know what? Can we do that now? If we go to utilities and small pipes, because we know where they are. So, um, yeah, we can just sort of go, can we go along like that? That would make sense, wouldn't it? They can't do anything with the small pipes, hopefully. I wouldn't have thought. They can't you know, escape via them or anything silly. So, uh, yeah, maybe we can just do that. Bring that up like that. Push that across there. And do you know what? For the sake of resilience, let's push that around there as well. Let's do that. That can go across like that. Uh, and, yeah, that's covered all of the toilets. Yes, yeah, so all the toilets should now be able to be plumbed in as well, which is pretty good. So, yeah, so they're slowly doing this. They're slowly working their way through it. They've got that done. So now I can clone that and then paste that into the others. So yeah, we want to redo that. So yeah, that's going to put those in. So one, two, three, four. There are four of those. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh yes, this is looking good. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen of those. Lovely. Um, and now, and now the door is locked. <laughs> Maybe, maybe we need to deploy some guards into here. Maybe we need, say, three guards to make sure that the doors stay open all the time. Because that, that is a little bit silly. Um, okay, there's no power going to that light. There's no power going to that light. Why is that? Oh, hang on. Are we, are we draining power from everything else? Have we got enough power? Uh, oh, yeah, we have got enough power. Why is there no power going to that light then? What's the problem there? Why is that not going to there? Have we not got the right one? Why not? It reaches all the other ones. What's the problem with that one? Why is that? What is, even is that? That doesn't look like a light. That looks like an electrical cable of some description. Uh, like a, that one, rather than a light. Has that gone a bit weird in the copy-paste procedure? Because that looks like one of those, look. Okay, yeah, maybe the copy and paste thing has done that a little bit strange. Let's dismantle that utility like that. And then we'll get a light to get an object. We'll pop a light. Just uh, it can't it can't go there. Okay, do you know what? Right, speed time on. Go 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 go. Super quick. Go super quick. That's fine. Then there's a light going in there. Everyone's coming in already. People are just flooding in. So I haven't got it all sorted yet. We're still building it. Can we not hold on a little bit? Look, there's like boxes and crates and things everywhere. But okay, right. Everyone seems very, very keen to move in. In you come. So provide cells for 40 inmates. We're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. We need to build all these pipes and stuff in. And then provide a yard. Okay. How does one do a yard? Is it a specific zoned area? Like a yard. Yeah, it's just a big empty sort of space. Okay. Well, can we put the yard just here? 
out the front. That would kind of make sense. So let's get ourselves a yard. I assume it's under rooms, is it? I guess it is. Yard. Okay. Minimum size five by five. Let your listeners see the uh, listeners prisoners see the sun for a few hours a day under the watchful eye of your sniper towers. Do I need to build some sniper towers? They sound a little bit frightening. Um, okay. So a yard can go out the front then. A yard can go out the front. Okay. What we'll do is then, because now that's our final challenge. Let's do what they've done there. Look, they've got the yard surrounded by those sort of concrete block things. So what is that? It's not gravel. It's not road. It's not concrete tiles. What are they? What are these things? They look like they should be concrete tiles, but it's not because they are concrete tiles and they don't look as good. Some sort of path? Or was that paving stones? Was that paving stones? Gravel? It certainly doesn't look like gravel. It does not look like gravel. It looks like an actual thing. It looks like a sort of proper floor sort of thing. Floor covering. Uh, it's not a paving stone. It's definitely not road. That looks like it might be road. Or is that gravel? That's gravel. That's definitely gravel. Do you know what? I don't know. I, I thought it was concrete tiles, but okay, whatever. Let's do that then. Let's get ourselves that like that. It's a bit of a bit of a block. Then a bit coming down here to say there then a bit there uh is that level don't know if that's level uh yeah it was level hurrah i like that and then we shall put ourselves a room and a yard in the middle like that that's a good yard that's exciting what does that mean minimum size secure behind at least one door well it is isn't it is that not behind that door i mean that doesn't look the most secure it's behind this door isn't it um okay well that's a bit weird i thought that would be secure oh no there we go it is it's it's behind this door it just to, i had to sort of play the thing for it to kick in okay everyone seems very happy let's put time on normal speed and go and talk to the doc hello doc oh you're back in there with him are you okie doke careful i was hoping to see you at one of my sessions i can't do it i can't stay in this hole any longer just take it a day at a time yes thanks doc thanks for stating the obvious I mean the whole stinking place. In here, out there, they won't let me see my family. I messed up, sir, and that ain't about a change. Henry, it's going to be okay. I'm right beside you. I suspect that's the problem, being right beside him. It's funny. He said the exact same thing. Dark, dark, warning, warning, alarm, 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 warning signs, warning bells, whatever. Alarm bells are ringing. He's going to try and kill you to death. Who, Henry? You can tell me. Uh-oh. I suspect he's going to kill him. Oh, right, there we go. He looked out for me. Yeah, there we go. Him, him with the with the shades. I love these little sort of cutscene bits. I they're in sort of faded colour. They're not quite black and white. Not quite black and white. Everything's very faded. Ever since we were kids. Yep, they're going to go and do something naughty and nefarious. Oh, they're robbing some sort of bank. They're robbing a bank? Yeah, Benedict. Keep your shizzle together. Whatever happens, kid. I'm right beside you. Yeah, in goes Benedict. Have we met Benedict before? Oh, he was the he was the shooty man. He was the man who did the killing of my boss in the in the last part. Of course he was. Hands up, naughty people. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. I'm not paraphrasing at all. Grab the money, kid. Okay, he's gonna get the monies. He's got the bags of monies. Uh oh, what's gonna happen? And oh no, oh no, the cops, the cops, the fuzz. The fuzz have arrived. Oh, and they've ran up. They're hiding behind this car. Good ploy. Police detective with his blue police tie. Drop your weapons now. Shooting is happening. Shooting is happening. Oh, goodness, <laughs> said Henry Morgan. I say. <laughs> shoot, goddammit. No, he doesn't want to shoot. He's too scared. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it, Benedict. Can you not tell? You've got a shot. Should he be better placed to shoot? You've got a shotgun. What the heck are you waiting for? Shoot you. <laughs> Shoot you, silly sausage. Oh, no, he's too scared. He's too scared. He's, he's bottled it. He's bottled it. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, he's killed a policeman. He's killed a policeman. You are not going to be popular. Oh, dear. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, he's been got. He's been got. He's injured. He's injured. He's down. Oh, bother, bother, bother. Don't shoot. Don't shoot, says Henry Morgan. And they've got Henry Morgan. And the cops are kicking him in the back of the head. Like like the cops do. Why would he be doing that? Just arrest him properly, man. What's wrong with you? There he is. Yeah, so he was the one who got... Yeah, he he, he shot my boss guy last time. 
right beside me. I'm a bit worried about things. He ain't there no more. I'll make you an agreement. Come to my next group and I'll see if we can relax your visitation privileges. You do that for me, sir? It's not just for you, Henry. Okay. Right, uh, this is end this is going to end up badly. This is going to end badly. Hello, Doc. We've treated these men like dirt for too long. That ends now. The previous CEO was never a big believer in prison reform, but the way I see it, we need to provide these men with some sense of hope for the future. We need to give them the skills they need to succeed when they're realised. Valuable trade skills, a basic education. We should start a work apprenticeship scheme. Train these men with some real-world skills so they at least have a future that they can look forward to. Oh, goodness me. Right, there is all sorts of stuff going on up there. Right, okay. Fine. What does that mean? What does that mean? Um, hang on. What's going on? What's happening? Uh, <laughs> should I be concerned? Oh, oh, they're arresting people. They're putting different coloured things on them and they're arresting them. Was there just a bit of a fight there? Someone's dead. <laughs> Someone's dead. Don't kill... Stop... Poor Warren Rogers. Is a stoical snitch who's also dead. Killed for being a snitch. Well, you shouldn't have been a snitch then, so you? Let's be honest. Come on, you should have realised that. Um, Authorised prison labour through bureaucracy. Right, where is prison labour? That's probably somewhere really obvious, but I cannot see it. There it is. Prison labour requires a foreman. 1,000 to unlock, that's fine. Allows you to put your prisoners to work around your prison. Cooking, cleaning, etc. Saving you on staff wages, earning you money, and teaching your prisoners new skills. Unlocks the workshop and the laundry. Yeah, okay. Well, let's do that. That's a nice, simple thing to get done. What else have we got to do? Train five inmates in kitchen safety and hygiene. Assign inmates to work in the kitchen. Build a workshop. Put 10 inmates through workshop safety induction. Assign inmates to work in the workshop. Uh, assign an export zone near to the road. Well, I can do that. That's nice and easy. Maybe on this side I could do that. An exports zone. So rooms, uh, an exports zone. Is, is it? Is it really obvious? Should I be able to see this really obviously? Maybe it requires... Oh, no, there, exports. There we go. Minimum size one by three. Uh, well, let's just put it here. Like that, look. We'll just zone it out to there. That's fine. So we've done another thing there. Set prisoner intake level to 10 per day. To make sure prison doesn't become overcrowded, go to reports, intake, and take it down. Okay, well, let's do the simple things. Reports, intake, and uh, okay, let's bring that down to 10, like it says to do. Okay, so I've done some of the stuff. There we go. We've got that done. Um, do I need to do any of these other things? Okay, train five inmates in kitchen safety and hygiene. How does one do that? Go to training and uh, to run training and reform programs. So we go to reports, then programs. It's one of these things, is it? Uh, and which one is that? Kitchen safety and hygiene. Uh, okay, well, let's start that then. Why not? Does that start that? I'm never really sure if these start. There seems to be no indication that it starts. Each prisoner requires a, requires a cooker. How do I start them? You need to assign two hours of work time. Ah, of course. Right. Okay. Yes. Right. Pause time for a sec. Regime. Yes. There's no work. There's no work time. So what we need to do is we need to change this free time. Let's say between 11 and 12. So let's change. Oh, hang on a minute. Work free time. There. Change it to that. There we go. So you've got two hours there. And then how about uh, between six and seven? You can do some work stuff as well. Okay. That's that done. Now, if we move time on a little bit and pause again, we should be able to do that. Yay! Right, okay. That's good. We'll do that. And then a workshop safety induction. Yeah, we'll start that as well. Okay, no room found. Okay, yes, because there is no workshop. Do you know what? I think what we'll do is we'll do that next time out. I think we'll, we'll wrap it up for now because I like the sort of shorter parts. I like the shorter parts of this. But yeah, I think what we'll do is we shall, um, we'll wrap that up for now. And next time out, we shall get our workshop built. We'll get a kitchen built. We'll train these people and uh, produce 100 license plates. Okay, that's quite cool. I like that. This is still not finished. Why is that not finished? Why, 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 Delilah? It's got sufficient pipes. Maybe we need more water umph. Maybe we just need a better pump station or something. Why is that struggling? Why is that struggling? Also, this light down here, this is a little bit irritating as well. Do you know what? 
electrical cables need to come down this way a bit more like that there we go we'll do oh hang on why can't i do that why can i not build electrical cables am i not allowed to build over this side uh okay i can build out there but not inside do you know what? Whatever. Let's pretend that I never tried that. <laughs> it never went wrong. Yeah, we. I don't think we've got enough water provision. I don't think that thing can cope. Now, I don't know how we see that. I don't know exactly how we see that. Can we build another water pump station? Utilities. Water pump station. Provides a source of water. Uh, maybe we need to build another one. Maybe we need to build another one, like, up here or something, or somewhere else. Because if we build one there, it's going to block... Do you know what? Whatever. Let's just build... Why can't I build one there? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I want to build one there and it's not letting me. Uh, okay. I've, I think I might have just built a water pump station on top of the water pump station. That might not be the best move I've ever done. Uh, no, it's all... I'm, I'm sure it's all fine. I'm sure that will all be absolutely fine and in no way will everything go wrong. So, um... Yeah, we've got a little bit of water shortage here for the toilets. Don't really know why. We'll look at that next time as well. And we'll work our way through this. But yeah, this is probably not going to be the end of this, is it? This is not going to be the end of this particular level. There'll be this to do. And then there'll be some other stuff. It'll say, ah, now you've done that. Let's do some psychiatry on these people. Let's clean up these bits over here and make them less suicidal and all whatever. So, um... Yeah, there'll be various bits and bobs to do after that. But yeah, let's wrap it up for now. So hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are enjoying it, please, please do leave a like. And also please do subscribe if you're not already to keep up to date with how we get on with the uh, Prison Architect campaign mode. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Covered. And I will see you next time. We need loads of it. More resin. More. Oh, scanning. Blip, 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 scanning. Where's the way out? Oh, no. I'm going to run out of oxygen and die. They sound like proper killy, killy death rocks. They do. It's a watermelon. The bloody hell is that supposed to be? So when you fall down a big hole, you tend to die. <laughs>